these are brass and enamel napkin rings. I think I might have shown these in another video. Um, the same woman bought the second set. So someone bought them, I think it was before Thanksgiving, and she liked them so much that she bought the second set. Now the first set I sold to her for $40. I think I had them up for 50 and I took an offer of 40 And then she said, would I take 30 for these? And I was happy to sell them. Um, I bought them for a quarter each. So 30 bucks plus 40 bucks. So that's $70 on these, and they were a quarter each. And they're going to the same home, so that's cool. Okay, this is kind of a crazy sale. This little coin. I actually thought it was a coin, but it's not. It's what they call like a ball marker. So they use it in golf to mark where their ball went. Something like that. It goes in a little holder and they mark where the ball is, I guess. I don't play golf. I don't know anything about it. So I looked it up, and I thought it was just a coin, like a little commemorative coin. And someone else sold one similar for like 2 or $3. But then I saw that they were actually called a ball marker, and they sold for $40. So I put mine up for 40 and it sold in like two days. So apparently this US Open in 2000 at Pebble Beach was the first year that Tiger Woods won a US Open. So that's why it's special, apparently. So 40 bucks for this little metal coin thing. And it just took a couple extra minutes of research to figure out why it might be special. You know, why would someone at an estate collect this in the first place? And then why would someone pay 40 bucks for it? And that's why. This is a vintage navy pea coat. It's genuine. It's got the navy buttons. Let's see if I can show them to you. There you go. It is missing a row of buttons, though. So it buttons on this side with these. But it's supposed to have buttons here. Um, and the way you can tell it's genuine is this. This label tells you. It's definitely from the Navy. It might be from the 50s. It might be earlier than that. Uh, it might be World War II. I think we just got this at the bag sale as we do most our clothing. And I had it up for $1.99, but our jackets are on sale, so it was $1.59. And it sold for full price. I think I had make an offer on it, too. Um, but, you know, the buttons are missing. You can buy buttons and fix them, so the person who's buying this might be doing that. But all in all, it's in good shape. This is a glass, clear, and frosted chess set. Um, I think I just got this at the thrift store bag sale. It just was in this bag, basically. Um, they're beautiful, actually. They're quite nice glass. Really pretty. Um, we sold them for 30 Because they don't go for much more than that. Um, you know, they're not hand carved or marble or whatever. So they're just like pressed glass. Um, yeah, so 30 is not bad. We probably got them for like a quarter. The only problem is wrapping them. So I'm going to wrap each piece individually in tissue paper. Just small pieces of tissue paper. Put each one in a bag, and then I will pad out a box and just make sure they're not shuffling around. And they shouldn't break or anything because they're individually wrapped. So they should be fine. Okay, this is the German set of dishes that I bought the other day at an auction. It was a box lot. It was $5. It was this stuff plus a bunch of other stuff. There was also a teapot with the same pattern and then there was a bunch of other kitchen stuff. Um, I'll show you the brand. Wachterbach. I think that's how you say it. Okay, that is a brand to look for. Either it looks like that or it looks like this. Okay. Now, one person bought three plates 
And then she wrote to me and said, would you give me a discount if I bought the rest of them minus the teapot? So I said I would take 10% off um, the rest of the order price of the items, not with shipping. And then she bought all of them. So the total order was um, I took off 10% for the final order, which was $188. Um, so I took off $18 to give her a discount. And then the three plates were $60. So it was a little under $250. It was about $230 total not including shipping so that's how much I made on a five dollar box lot because everyone thought this was ugly <laughs> um, and cheap but it's actually a high quality brand so keep an eye out for that stuff if you know your makers for pottery and glass and stuff like that you can uh, make a little bit of money now I have to pack all these this is a totally 80s, 70s, funky, ugly piece of artwork on wood with a lot of like glossy polyurethane. Probably got it at our bag sale. We just thought it was hilarious. And it sold for a best offer of $25. Pretty funny. These are a pair of solid brass little animal feet that go on a desk or a table leg. I think we probably only bought these for a couple bucks. Maybe three bucks. And I just thought they were so cool. They're definitely antique. They're solid. They're not signed, but um, these sold for $40. This is a vintage replacement cord for either a toaster or a waffle maker or something like that. It's GE. Um, this is Bakelite. It has an on-off switch, which is so cool. And it's braided. Basically, it's brand new. It has not been used. A lot of the braided cords that you'll find from old appliances are just cracked and fraying. So someone's obviously going to use this as a replacement. Um, I got this at the bag sale, so it was only a couple cents. I took a best offer of $33 for it. I had it up for 40 just because it's a rare find to find something like this, like brand new. Um, but someone asked for it. They said, would you take $33? I said, yes. So it sold. These are a modern pair of Neo Style brand glasses. Um, they're from Germany. They're all metal frames. They have a prescription lens, but someone will replace that. There's the hard case comes with it. There's some damage on the case though, as you can see, but I did note that in the listing. At one point I had bought a whole bunch of glasses at our bag sale place. There was just a basket full of old glasses that looked like junk, but uh, you know, I went through every single one and got the nicer glasses out of it. Um, and these sold for $60. So that's a nice sale. This is a Henkels brand, German, very nice, professional, heavy-duty bread knife. Uh, Henkels is a very nice brand. You can see the little guy is the logo. The great thing about these knives is they have the model number right here. So that's very helpful in listing because you can look up if there's a particular you know, name for it or something like that. And people are usually looking for these. And we got the idea to sell knives from our interview with Mr. Customer Service. So if you haven't heard that interview, you could go check it out. This knife sold for $36.99 all by itself. Some of the uh, chef ni chef's knives that are like 10 inches, you know, they're just the long, sharp knives. Those can sell between $50 and $60 just by themselves. But the bread knives uh, don't go for as much, so... $36.99 is a lovely sale for a knife. These are a pair of funky vintage 1970s bubble lamps. Um, you can see what they look like. I'm sure you've seen lamps like this before. Um, they're very popular in the 70s, 60s, and 70s. These are on wood. I got these at my regular thrift store, uh, which we buy stuff in the bag. So it costs almost nothing. 
Um, or if anything, if it was priced individually, it was probably like three to five dollars. And I sold these for a hundred and twenty-five dollars. So good sale. Love selling lights. The only problem is packing them. As you see, they're a weird shape. So I gotta figure out a good size box to get them in there and make sure they're padded. Yeah, good sale. This is a pair of IKEA Correct uh, drawer pulls. They look scratched, but it's just the scratchiness of the uh, plastic. Comes with the hardware. Um, the cool thing about these is they are discontinued, so IKEA does not make them anymore. That makes them more valuable. Um, I think I got these for 50 cents, and I actually have two more, so it's quantity three. This person bought one, and it sold for $30. This is three yards of wool, kind of lightweight um, fabric. It's beautiful, heather gray, nice fabric, beautiful fabric. And it sold for $60. So $60 for three yards is 20 bucks a yard. For this kind of wool, um, that's a really nice price. And we probably got it in bulk for just a couple bucks, maybe even less than that. So 60 bucks is a great price. This is a purse made out of thick nylon seat belts. It's called the seat belt bag. Um, you can look them up. They sell for a lot of money, especially if they're new. This is not new, but it's in quite good shape. Um, this was one thing that we took an offer on where they said free shipping um, on the terms, and we accepted and didn't see that. But we learned in the comments from Brian that the buyers are not actually allowed to do that. Like, you don't have to honor the free shipping terms if you have shipping prices on your items. So... We didn't know that when this happened, so I'm going to do free shipping on this. It's not very heavy, so it should be fine, but um, this sold for $50. They can sell for over $100, but I took an offer. Um, I got this at the bag sale, so it's, you know, just a couple cents. This is another purse that sold. It's a Les Sport sack, and it is just a black nylon bag. Very cool. It's expandable. It's got a bunch of... Pockets also got at the bag sale day, so just a couple cents, and it sold for $36.99. This is a cool 100% cotton Ralph Lauren button-down shirt. Um, I think we got it at the bag sale, so cheap, um, and it sold for $20. Usually I like to price Ralph Lauren's a little bit higher, but we're trying to move these, so 20 bucks is good. So this is a cool little reversible wool scarf. It is one of the oldest items we have in our store. And I just looked up the date when I first listed this. And right now it's, uh, I think today is the 12th of January, um, 2015. And I listed this the 10th of January, 2010. So that's five years. Fortunately, we don't have that many items like this. We have like a couple other scarves and maybe like a blazer that are five years old. But this scarf has been in our store for five years. Um, I probably paid, you know, a nickel for it and it sold for $10. <laughs> but, you know, we have some leftover stuff and we don't unlist it. We list it and forget it. And uh, yeah. This has been there for five years, so thank God someone wanted it. These are a pair of men's Dan Post cowboy boots. They're beautiful. The stitching is lovely. They have leather soles. That makes them more valuable. They have the size printed inside, even better. Um, I think we had these up for 150 and we got an offer of 100 So we were very happy with that offer, and we took it. We probably paid $5 for these. So 100 bucks is a great sale. This is a funky acrylic knit poncho. Um, and the funny story about this is I got an offer two weeks ago for $15. And I took it just because I'm wanting to move jackets and sweaters and things like that. 
and the person never paid and they never paid and they never paid and they wrote to me and said they would pay and they never paid. So I relisted it for a full price of $25 and then it sold. So I'm happy it sold to someone who wants it. This is a vintage 50s parka, kind of cool. It sold for $34, global shipping. And my favorite part is the tag. It's called Mr. Two-Ply. And I think that refers to the fact that it has a lining and then it has this like thick material. But I love that, it's so funny. That's how you can tell it's vintage, that and this label. Pretty cool. This is a vintage wool blanket with satin edges. It's got this cool tag, I'll show it up close. It's a Faribo from Minnesota, me in the USA. Beautiful blanket, looks like it was never used. I think we got this for between 10 and 15, probably 10. Um, and blankets are on sale right now, so this sold for $68. Um, depending on the color, I mean, this is kind of a drab brown color, so I couldn't price this very high. But depending on the color, if it's bright blue or pink or red, um, you can price these over $100. So this is a nice sale. Let's look at the tag. 100% pure merino wool woven by American craftsmen, Faribault Blankets in Faribault or Faribault, Minnesota. Um, I love tags like this. When blankets don't have tags, it's always a bummer because you don't know what brand it is or what quality it is. So it's always fun when you have this. Okay, so a bunch of jackets sold overnight. Uh, you might recognize this parka. I sold it a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, um, and I showed it on a video. And the person actually returned it because it didn't fit. So... I didn't have to spend any money on shipping for that. They paid for all that because they did a hassle-free return and just said item didn't fit. So I refunded them. And the cool thing is I actually put it up for higher because I thought it was worth more. And it sold for $40 on Bonanza. So I ended it on eBay. And uh, yeah, so I'm glad I got more for it because it's definitely cool. This is a men's jacket, another jacket sold. Um, it is wool, it is a long jacket. We've had it for a while. Uh, it's a very high quality jacket, or a coat rather. And coats are on sale, so it was cheap, and then we took an offer of $26. <laughs> Mostly because we just want to get rid of coats. This is a cool tag, and the funny one is this one. Man style. I always think it's funny when we find man style jackets. That's the best. Another jacket that sold yesterday was a members only jacket. We've also had this one for a long time. Members only is like what started it all for us because we sold a members only jacket to someone in Brooklyn um, and we were like, yep, this is definitely a business. So the cool thing about this members only is it is wool. And you don't see that very often. I've seen leather, but it's rare to see wool. You can see there's marks on the front. So that's why we only took $20 for it. Uh, usually I would take more than that. But uh, it's nice to get rid of some coats and jackets. This is a set of six whiskey glasses. You can see there's all different brands of uh, Scotch whiskey. So whiskey from Scotland. Definitely cool for anybody who's like a whiskey drinker, um, collector type person. I bought these for a dollar each, so it was six dollars at a thrift store, and I sold them for sixty dollars. So that's a fun set. I love those. This is a massager uh, sold by Discovery Channel, oddly enough, um, but it's a heated massager. It comes with all these little pieces. It comes with the original box. And we find these all the time and they always sell. This one sold for $40. So if you see these, they're usually pretty cheap at a thrift store or estate sales. And they always sell. These are a pair of 100% linen Nautica shorts for men. 
Uh, you can see Nautica, and they're 100% linen, which is a great fabric. Um, I think I bought these for a dollar or two at a little thrift store when we were traveling somewhere. I forget where. And they sold for $30. So that's a nice price for just a pair of shorts. This is another pair of shorts that sold on the same day. They are Tommy Bahamas and they are swim trunks. And I got the idea to buy swim trunks from Mikey. He was always finding you know, men's swim shorts and tropical shorts and selling them for 25, 30 bucks. And I couldn't believe it. So we started looking for them when we started selling pants as well. These sold for 30 bucks. I probably only paid less than five bucks for them. This is a Kohler never been used um, trim for a shower. Uh, you can see it's not assembled. It's just the handle and the trim. Uh, we actually bought this at like um, a housing thrift store. And um, we thought we were going to use it for our rental house, but we decided to use a different trim that came with another uh, unit. So we bought this for maybe 5 to $10. And because I had the model number, um, I was able to look up the price and it sold for... It's, it sells, you know, new with the box for like a hundred dollars, <laughs> just this part. So I sold mine for 80, which is pretty amazing since I might have only paid five dollars for it and didn't use it. So I made money on it for sure. This is a nice sturdy straw hat. Um, it actually has like protection from the sun. So it's got, um, like a layer inside that keeps the sun off your head. It's kind of nice. Um, I think these hats are great for gardening or, you know, like people who are outside in the summer. Um, this sold to someone in California, so that makes sense because it's winter here in Virginia. Um, we don't pay very much for hats generally. Uh, <clears throat> a dollar or two, depending on what it is. And this sold for $40. So I had shown these in another video. They're these German uh, police jackets in a very, very small size. I had three left out of about 12. And someone asked me if I'd do a deal on three. They were up for a $39.99. I said I would do $35 for three. So that was $105 for three jackets. I think we only paid a dollar or two each for these jackets uh, originally. So... That's a nice, uh, nice sale. This is a vintage Freemasons logo hat. Um, and it's cool because there are people who are in the Freemasons or people who are into the Freemasons because of conspiracy theories and stuff like that. It's also just a cool logo altogether. Um, so it's definitely a vintage trucker hat. And this sold for $30. This jacket sold last night. It's a Wrangler brush popper. Bright purple cowboy jacket going to someone in Oklahoma. That makes a lot of sense. Probably got it at a bag sale and it sold for $40. And that's it for this week. Bye!